we shall see some more basic commands like circle, polygon, offset, rotate, mirror, and trim. First, the circle command. Type circle or just type C. Press enter. It's asking to specify the center point of the circle. Let's put it as 10, comma, 10. Press enter. It's asking to put the radius of the circle. Also in the drop box, there is an option to input the diameter. To input the diameter, either click on the diameter option in the drop box menu, or simply press D. Let's put the diameter as 10 units. Press enter. Again, see the circle command. There is a drop box in which the options are 3P, 2P, and TTR. Let us first use the second option. Press Enter. It's asking to put in the first end point of the circle's diameter. Clicking on the required position. Now it's asking to put the second end point of the circle's diameter. Let it be this. And here is the required circle by two point method. Now let's see the circle command again. This time we will use the first option. It's three point. In short, it's three P. By this option, we can draw a circle passing through three input points. Press enter. It's asking to specify the first point on the circle. Let it be this point. It's asking to specify the second point on the circle. Let it be this point. It's asking to specify the third point on the circle. Let it be this point. And here is the circle. Now again see circle command. This time, we will use third option. TTR, it's tan, tan, radius. It draws a circle, which will be tangent to two objects at the given input points on them. Press enter. It's prompting to specify a point on the object for first tangent to the circle. Let it be this point. Now it's asking to specify a point on the object for second tangent to the circle. Let it be this point. Now it's asking to specify the radius of the circle. Let's put that as five units and press enter. This is the required circle tangent to these objects at the input points. Now let's see the polygon command. It's used to draw a polygon. Type polygon. Press enter. It's asking for the number of sides of the polygon. Let's enter five. Press enter. Now we will specify the center of the pentagon as, say, 10, comma, 8, 10. Press enter. There are two choices. By the option name as inscribed in circle. The polygon will be drawn inside the circle, whose parameters we will enter later on and by the option name as circumscribed about circle. The polygon will be drawn such that its all vertices will pass through a circle whose parameter will be entered by us later on. Let us use the second option. It's asking to put the radius or diameter of the subscribed circle. Just for an instance, put as 10 units. This is the required circumscribed polygon. And then enter the polygon command. This time, number of sides will be six. Press enter. This time, we will choose the drop box menu option, that is, edge. Through this option, we can input the length of the side of the polygon along with its inclination angle. After specifying the first point, let's put 10, tack, 90 degree. Press enter. And here is the hexagon with side of 10 units with the required inclination. Let's draw a line. Next is offset command. Offset command is nothing but a special case of copy command. It's used to copy a line parallel to it on the required side and at the specified distance. For that use of set command, set the required distance, say five units Select the line or lines. Press Enter. Choose the appropriate side by clicking. And here is the expected output. 
you can use offset command. Also for circles, let's see, give offset command. Set the distance as to units. Select the circle. Now, if you click on inside of the circle, the circle will be concentric with diameter less by two units. And if you click on the outside of the circle, it will be still concentric but with the diameter more by two units, like this. Now, let's see the rotate command. For that, type rotate solved by pressing enter. Choose the object to rotate. We shall choose the hexagon which we had drawn earlier. Press enter. Choose the appropriate base point. Now it's asking to specify the angle through which the selected item will be rotated. Let's put 180. Press enter. Now the hexagon has rotated by 180 degrees. But please note that these angles are always with respect to positive x-axis. And also, you can enter the negative figures as an angle. That is, if you want to rotate an object by 330 degrees, you can enter the rotate angle as minus 30 degrees. Now let's see what is this mirror command. Mirror command draws contents symmetrical to the selected contents of the opposite hands from a specified distance. So it looks exactly as the mirror image of the selected content distinct by the mirror plane. Just give the mirror command select the object or objects to mirror. Press enter. It is asking to specify the first point of the mirror plane. After selecting, it's asking to specify the second point of the mirror plane. Mirror plane is the plane on the opposite of which the new content will appear. Press enter. The selected content has got mirrored. Now at the last of this tutorial, I am going to show you trim command. Let me draw a new drawing. I am putting the object snap off, just for my convenience. The drawing is ready. Trim command is used to cut unwanted part or parts of a content or contents. I want to cut these overhanging edges. For that use trim command. After giving the command, first you have to make a cutting edge. Here you can make the vertical lines as the cutting edges. So after selecting them, press enter. Now select the part or parts that you have to trim and press enter. Note that you should select proper objects as cutting edges. You can remember a thumb rule as for proper trimming. The cutting edge and the part to trim should have a common point. And here's the fourth tutorial of AutoCAD by Sumitra Commences. Thank you.